CBS News has confirmed that President Obama is ready to make a deal with Congress. He'll cut corporate tax rates if they'll make job investments. A break in the gridlock could change the course of the current Congress. It's on track to be the least productive ever. Lawmakers are headed home <coughs> this week for their summer break with several key deadlines looming. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Charlie and Gail. Well, the first thing that Congress needs to do is fund the government by September 30th. And that may sound like a long way away, but when Congress leaves at the end of this week for a five-week break, take a look at this. The House comes back in September and will be working just nine days. And many of those are partial days. The Senate is in session just a little bit more. They will be here for 16 full days. Uh, and there are a lot of major disputes that they're going to need to work through when it comes to funding the government. There's going to be a big fight over whether to keep some or all of those spending cuts known as the sequester in place. There's a group of Republicans who are threatening not to fund the, fund the government unless the bill to do it cuts off funding for Obamacare. And on top of all of that, everyone is gearing up for yet another battle over the debt ceiling. The nation is set to reach its borrowing limit sometime between September and November. So, Charlie and Gail, there are a number of scenarios where Congress could bring us to the brink of a government shutdown yet again. After all, this is the Congress that is so gridlocked, they have only passed 22 pieces of legislation this year. And many of those are ceremonial pieces of legislation, things like renaming a bridge in Missouri or in one case dictating how commemorative coins for the Baseball Hall of Fame should be minted.